I'm going to show you this, pause to read, and we're going to talk about it. Since just caring about other human beings doesn't seem to be doing it, let me take this to a different frame so you can see how it's definitely going to affect us all. You're driving your car in Tennessee or wherever the next place to enact a law like this because this is going to spread, definitely. You happen to be not LGBTQ, but a woman or a leftist or something that doesn't match what the state wants. Let's say you're a woman and you happen to be wearing pants and a shirt. Whatever police officer pulls you over now has the discretion to decide, are you in drag or not? Because there's no standard for what it means to be in drag for what it means to be dressed appropriately for your gender. So whether or not you get dragged in on a felony that is going to fuck up your life is up to whoever pulls you over and the mood that they're in at that moment. And since it's a felony, well, that's a big ticket for them. Maybe they just need to make quota that day. Does any of that sound far-fetched to you? Because it's not. And that's the law on the books. Or at least it will be if it goes all the way through. Starting with trans people is a pretext, a well-worn one, that has been done in history before to great effect. It should be enough that they're doing it to anyone, but they're not doing it just to get trans people. They are doing it to control us all. And if you aren't standing up and speaking out and getting ready to fight back and help protect people, you're a good German. And you know what I mean by that. And if you're a person of color, a black person who just happens to not like trans people, you really got to see how badly you're getting played and helping to play yourself. Who do you think is going to get stopped for this? Do you think they won't use this to get more of us? Do you think that when they're dragging you off for having an earring on or something, something slightly gender variant in their eyes, do you think that they're going to listen to your, your, your pleas of like, I don't even like them gays. I don't like the queers. Like, I don't mess with them. Do you think they're going to care? Do you think they're going to listen to you? Any person of color who is letting their prejudice against the LGBTQ community cloud their mind is actively helping what is coming our way. It's the worst kind of pick-me behavior, and it is absolutely not pro-black. You're not pro-black if you're going to let black people get carted off, and God knows whatever happened to them. This, this is the moment where you need to decide what side you're on, straight up. That might sound hyperbolic or feel some kind of way to you, but it's true. 